Uh, welcome back, YouTube. This is NLS, and uh, it's a br bright, new, bright new day. I just slept, and uh, I have several things I plan to do today. Um, the first thing I planned, which is part of my larger project, is to uh, get these reeds and some pumpkins along the way. But uh, anyway, what I've an idea for today is um, to make a reed farm or sugar cane, whatever it's called. And uh, uh, the reason is I'm level 27 and uh, I'm nearing level 30, and I wanna when I hit level 30, I wanna enchant my new pickaxe and get some cool stuff like uh, fortune or silk touch or something pretty darn cool and uh, to do that or one of the steps in it I think I had all the obsidian from last time but what I need is a bunch of wood and uh, bunch of reeds for paper so I can have books and uh, I need some sand and I got some gunpowder and I think I'm gonna make a reed farm I'm gonna make it underground and uh, I need some reeds and here's some more uh, I think I'm going to make it uh, 32 wide and uh, it's going to be eight long and two ro wide rows and I'm going to have two of them so each time I harvest sugar canes I'll get one stack of paper and uh, I'm just doing that to make it easy and uh, I don't remember I didn't know this went on. Not too much. So I'm gonna make a crafting bench. I guess I'll just make it out of some uh, birch wood here. And uh, I think it's an X shape. And with sand in the middle. And uh, let's make three. If I can, that'd be cool. Re TNT. I think that should be uh, enough. And uh, I generally blow up too much stuff, too wide of an area, but uh, the more the merrier, I guess. So uh, let's get back here. And that uh, looks pretty good. I need some torches though. Yeah, I don't have any torches. So, uh, let's get some torches and some dirt. And, uh, let's. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna make a trail for the grass to grow. But, uh, let's go up here. Get some dirt. And, uh, what else do I need? Water. I have water. So here's my loot chest. I moved some stuff. I organized it a little bit, but not too much. So, uh, let's go. Oh, I need torches. That's what I came here for. I think I left some, uh, coal in the furnace. So let's get some of that. We'll take all of that and uh, make some sticks here. Twelve and twelve. I planned that out perfectly. So let's go down. And uh, it's a bit random placement, I think, but uh, I think it'll be really nice the farm. I get everything laid out. So I think I'm gonna 
lay out some dirt at the bottom here. And that should be a plenty high for uh, a roof. And this will all grow in the grass. And it will look really nice when, uh, whenever this grass chooses to grow. Let's see if I can try and make it grow a bit quicker with some lighting. Maybe put one there. It will try and jump down. Alright, so uh, I think I'm going to widen this here, and uh, I'm going to leave this open, put some torches down, so it auto-mines the gravel for me. And let's put some more dirt. So I am going to put, I kind of want this to be the middle. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna dig a channel right here. Put my water down, and uh, we can get some of this growing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So that's how long my rows are gonna be. I'm not gonna make it anything fancy. My uh. <laughs> farm it's just going to be a quick run and uh, get a stack and then leave I just really don't have that much of a need for books other than bookshelves but uh, after I get my uh, first few I don't think I'm going to uh, need any more as I think they nerfed the trading with villagers so you can't get like infinite uh, infinite emeralds from trading paper and let's move this so it doesn't has room to grow Here, here will be our second water channel. And uh, put some dirt here. We don't need carrots in our hot bar. Let's dig this out a little bit more. And I want it to be three tall so uh, my reeds have room to grow. This, I guess, can be too wide. And uh, hopefully, I'll connect this to my basement. Like a secret passage or something. And I guess I planted all of my. Uh, reeds. So now all I have to do is uh, go. So uh, I guess the grass is spreading and uh, there will be our farm. So we got 16 and then another 16. So we need to expand to this. Just for sake of uh, having it be even, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I really like TNT, and uh, I generally, normally, don't use it at all. But, uh, I figured every episode I make that has TNT is twice or three times more interesting. So I think, I don't know what I'm going to do now. It's getting dark, so 
I am going to, uh, I guess I'm going to, uh, look for some more reeds and, uh, plant them after I get some sleep here. So I'll be right back. Alright, so, um, I took a, just a small break and, uh, I'm now going to, uh, hunt for, I'd say, eight more reeds so I can have my farm completely done. And, uh, anything else I, uh, gather will be progress to, um, getting a, uh, enchanting table. So, uh, it looks like we got two islands, which are pretty darn cool. And, uh, we got, like, a let's go check this out here. We got a sand cave. These things are always kind of cool. And I guess they're pretty deadly. Um, let's get this. Normally, uh, well, let's do a little caving here. Or just we just slide it up. Nah, but this is pretty darn cool. But, uh, no reeds down here. I was thinking maybe with all the sand there might be a fallen or a dungeon or something, but uh, it doesn't appear so. So let's go over here and uh, pig. Let's get some pork. Plenty of animals around here. I'm just gonna follow the coast, and uh, that's probably where the most uh, would be. And, uh, there's our first jungle, which I find a bit surprising because generally I uh, see jungles all the time here. But, uh, and also, there's some reeds. Let's get little trees here. I don't know what I'll use them for, but uh, ferns. To me, they look like little saplings, and I think they're kind of cool. I want to get some cocoa beans. And uh, it's always nice to have uh, shears on, especially in jungles, because you get a little uh, crap away. there but uh just makes it easier to get around I find I want to get back towards this uh coast in case I see more reeds and uh get a bit hungry here but uh those carrots should last me I didn't realize there were that uh good to eat in this game. I thought they were to be poor like uh, potatoes. I think potatoes are half a heart or maybe one heart. And uh, this ocean is just endless here. There's a survival island. You know what? Let's go over and make a boat first. These boats are kind of cool. Because I should be able to get over there quicker. And uh, they're pretty easy to make. Slow it down. Nah, but uh, this is a cool little island. It'd be perfect for... Uh, you know, like it's survival island because you got one tree, it's fairly wide. Except the only issue is, uh, it's just, uh, too close to the coast. And, uh, I think I'm done exploring the coast because I think over there's this desert, which I explored earlier. But, uh, I'm going to head back 
by boat, and it will save me a lot of time. Even though it's, I guess, it's midday. And I guess we should have should have went for a swamp first to check out for some reeds, but uh, we did uh get some ferns and some tall grass and vines and stuff which we didn't have before and uh, let's just park our boat right here and uh, make a little dock I don't know it's just kind of silly little pier for you to jump in on your boat So let's go up here. I never got the pork. I guess we'll have to kill his friend uh, for not giving his pork. I haven't seen any cows or chickens for that matter. I've seen quite a bit of sheep and pigs around my base, but uh, other animals not so much. And uh, I can't wait till they add horses. I think there's gonna be awesome. Like, I'll, I'd if I had horse, I'd chop all these trees down, and I'd make a uh, like a roadway, so I could get to uh, you know the jungle or swamp or or something a bit faster. And uh, there's that explosion or was it here I don't remember several I just remember having creeper pull up around this area somewhere yeah it was right here flooded the whole cave and uh, there's some reeds and uh I guess I'm gonna get those reeds and head back and um, finish the episode. Because, um, I don't know. Just getting bored. Actually, might want these uh, lily pads because of. I can put them over the water in my farm and uh, stuff won't fall into them. Which would be, uh,. Nice attributes. So let's get these few here because we're easy and then we'll head back. So we got 21, which is pretty good, but I think our farm will take time, but uh, we should be able to get whole stacks at a time. And, uh, I think it is, uh, maybe, uh, need, like, two stacks of books, or two stacks of, uh, paper, two stacks of reeds, which makes the paper, which makes the books. And, uh, I don't know how much wood you need, but <laughs> living in a forest, I don't really need to make a tree farm. And nobody escapes the shears. So it's kind of cool. I'm gonna light this tree so I can come back maybe sometime. But uh, it looks like it's sunset, but it's getting low in the sky, so uh, it's probably best to uh, get back to our house. But, uh, I think this episode should be a bit longer. But, uh, pretty much, I got two days of work done, which is pretty cool. So, uh, this grass will grow, and we got 16, we got eight, four rows of eight, which is 32, and they grow too high, which is 64 if you chop them all down. So, we got a little farm made today, a little bit exploring, and uh, a lot of materials gathered. 
but uh, I'm gonna warm my hands by the fireplace and uh, maybe watch the sunset. But uh, anyways, goodbye and have a good day.